Hey guys, doing a little quick video here on Virtual DJ and the Denon DJ Prime Go with the new firmware 2.3.0, which means this thing can now do computer mode, which in turn means it can be used as a controller for Virtual DJ. This wasn't easy. There's some things you're going to need, and I'm going to leave a link below in the comments for the driver because you need an audio driver that doesn't seem to be available when you first plug this thing into virtual dj it pops up saying hey do you want to use the audio driver for the dead and go but at the okay you, it has computer and then has it to select but you can't select it and then it tells you to go here to get the driver it takes you to a page that takes you to the denning page and the driver is just not there and that's the issue so i'm going to leave that link um, I'm going to show you as well too. So this is it here, right? The Denon, it's a Prime Go Windows driver 1.0.1. .1. And you see this, there's the other thing you need to do. When you get this driver, you need to right click this thing and you need to run it as an administrator. So if you don't know how to do that, right click, run it as the administrator or it will not install properly. As soon as you do that, and you start a virtual DJ, it's gonna pop up telling you it's downloading the screen zip and all that stuff. It should just work. There really shouldn't be much more to it than that. Um, there doesn't seem to be any lag whatsoever. It works good. Um, you got some customized buttons you can do there on the screen. So when you hit that, the button editor comes up on virtual DJ. So you can do some custom stuff. Um, you've got your hot cue, of course, but your hot cue it switches. You hit it one time, it's hot cue. You hit it again, you got beat jump. The one loop, click it one time, click it again, and you got your auto loops, right? Loop roll, then you hit it again, you got your sampler. And then of course you got your bank, you know, if you got your bank and you hit that roll, you got your loop rolls, you hit it again. Uh, what we got here at the banks. But yeah, you can customize everything because it's virtual DJ. That's the best part of virtual DJ. You can change the pads to whatever you want them to do. Um, you know, you got your effect selector. So when you're, doing your effects where you see them down there there's all the different effects you have within virtual dj one two one people in the place to be we have this new new dominating motivating stimulating awesome jam for you So yeah, that's it, man. I don't want to make too long of a video. Just go get the firmware update for this thing. Click below. You're going to find the driver for it for Windows. Get yourself a copy of Virtual DJ. Um, I don't know if it'll work with the trial. If it has like the 30-day trial. 30 bucks a month Canadian I'm spending for this thing. It's well worth it. One of my biggest things I love about Virtual DJ is the fact that for my online music, for my streaming, you know, I like my Beatport link and all that other stuff, but I've got Deezer. And I use Deezer and I like Deezer a lot. Plus you've got, um, you know, you can play uh, music that's got the uh, vocal files so you can do like karaoke type stuff. It's got the karaoke mode. It's good for live streaming, good for video. It's good for everything. You, I don't need to sell you on Virtual DJ. I'm just telling you, this thing now works with Virtual DJ if you need it to. That's it. Subscribe to the channel, leave some comments if you like, and I will talk to you all soon.